Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So what's been going on? Well I can tell you I've had a really, really bad week uh, when the Koi Pond uh, is concerned. So bring it on and show you what's been happening. So in my last video I put the Kajaku in this pond, it was all set up. Uh, and I commenced salt uh, baths uh, for the infection it had. Um, unfortunately, that didn't work. Um, so, as a result of uh, what had happened, I've had to shut the big pond down uh, after observing some of the fish were showing signs of uh, what the Kajaku had so um, I decided I'm going to shut the pond down um, and all the um, material, filter material is in PP it's been like that for a few days uh, so in there is my all my um, my upflow pipes, all the kale, um, all the alpha grog is in there, and all the K1, K3, and K, K1 micro plus is in there. It's all in there. Even the nets, I put the nets in there as well. Uh, these filter bushes are soaking as well. So, uh, so the, the fish that I tried to save, it got worse and worse and worse. And uh, I came out to uh, have a look and it was dead and it was uh, not a pretty sight so I've even done the easy pod so disconnected and that's full of PP as well so yeah uh, rather, than, rather than mess around trying chemicals, which tried anyway I've got to shut the pond down uh, which I've had for uh, three years uh, without any issues right really the odd fluke um, chili danella and now this bacteria infection that the fish got I couldn't keep on top of it, so decided that was it. So, so that's where we're at, guys. So, out of all the, the fish that were in there, I have three that I know are all right, and I've put them in here. They've been in here for a few days. Um, so I saved the uh, Shizumi, the Kiko, and the um, Yamabuki, all gone. About 20 odd fish. That's what I saved. So the filtration, it's all been stripped, as I said. So the, the, um, the, Mind your own business that was in the shower up there. I've managed to put that on the on the waterfall. So hopefully that should should take the the roots are uh, lying in the water so there's no reason why they shouldn't grow. Carry on growing. Um Yeah. So so the pond now stripped the, the line has been stripped out which is there 
Um, I don't know what to do about this because I can't have that. That's just one big lump in the back of the garden doing nothing. So I had an idea of uh, taking the front wall off uh, and the side wall off and making it into a, um, just a basically a, seat, a shaded seating area. Um, but I think that's probably a bit too much for me. Look at that guy's there. That's all that's left. Um, pretty, I'm pretty gutted about it, to, to be honest. But um, these things happen. So um, it's still mine's koi pond. It's not that one's mine's koi pond now. Yeah, so um, I'm going to see what I can do about this. Um, so I can't believe it's a big hole not being used. So I'll have to do something with it. So uh, bear with me, guys. I'll think of something. <laughs>